Everybody assumes that if you're Aboriginal, you understand what two-spirited means, and that's not always the case. Two-spirited simply just means that it's a category of a way of being that's about having male and female um, in balance. I represent myself as two-spirited. 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 My name is Marie Ritchie. I'm from Saugeen First Nation. I'm Ojibwe, and I'm a two-spirit person. Pat Green. My real name is Jadeha. I'm from Six Nations, I'm Mohawk and uh, Wolf Clan. My name's Hope Engel. I'm Turtle Clan. I'm um, originally from Oklahoma. I'm uh, mixed ancestry, Choctaw, Chickasaw, Cherokee, Scotch, Irish, and German. Um, my name is Donna Dubay, and um, I'm from Six Nations. I'm from the Turtle Clan. I'm the executive director here at Healing of Seven Generations. My name is Dennis Robus, and I am from Six Nations, and I am two-spirited. I'm 30 years old, and I am a chef for Wilfrid Laurier University. I understand when I talk to a woman or when I talk to a man the differences between their spirits. They look at things a certain way, and they're both different spectrums. And I find myself understanding and acknowledging both. So for me, Two-Spirit, it has nothing to do with my sexuality, um, which is, I think, a mainstream way of looking at it. I think Two-Spirit is, is just a way of being. Like half guy, half girl, and I'm going, no, I have all female, but inside of me, I feel like a male. Chiefs and clan mothers would go to them and ask them, you know, very hard questions about community and um, their opinion was highly regarded. There's so many things I could say about the definition of two-spirited because according to each nation, there's a different understanding of that. If you look at a circle, and or we have medicine wheels, right? We have a circle with four quadrants. We all have masculine and feminine inside of us and we're all two-spirited to some extent or another. And what happens is when you're really young like that, you make a choice to come to peace with the male energy or the female energy and to express the other one. Sometimes I want to be with the man and sometimes I want to be with the lady. But then when I'm with the lady, then the guy wants to come out. So it's, it's really hard to figure out why I'm so two-spirited and it's very strong for me at this time. They could be healers, they could be medicine people. They, are, they have a better understanding of um, what it's like to walk in the two worlds. Two-spirited are Aboriginal people um, in my teachings who have had the opportunity to be born with both male and female spirits um, that represent themselves for sexuality. So you know if um, men are providers and protectors and women are nurturers and um, caregivers then a two-spirited person might be a protector and a nurturer. So they got a little bit of both. It's not a choice in the sense of um, how you live or how you're respected by people. Back in the day, you were just two-spirited. What completes them, if, you have, if everyone is a circle of masculine and feminine, what would complete the female is to have a male, like the male energy, when you meet your partner, that's a balance for you. For people who are two-spirited though, they, they, they get to that point and the way that they connect with people, they already have both. So instead of having to come together this way with a partner, they come together like this. We don't even have a term for two-spirit, gays, lesbians, queers. That's, uh, those are all English terms. There is not really a word in our language. It's, it is more of a new term. We're still dealing with a lot of uh, imposed concepts and ideas that, that, that aren't all that healthy in our way that being gay was not never wrong. It was never right. It was just, just who we are, or who, we, who they are. I was nervous, scared. I had no contact with my family for years after I told them. And they were telling me, you're, you're disgusting, and everything they could think of calling me. It hurt. I am uh, so-called hetero, whatever that is, uh, so-called normal, whatever that is. In high school, we had a, a young guy that was gay, um, and he got bullied. 
And of course, the first thing I think of is I'm definitely not going to tell anybody that I think I might be gay because God forbid I get bullied. The second year in university, I came out. And I came out as bisexual. And um, that is, I didn't know at that time I was not connected with my culture. I never heard of the word two spirited. So up until I heard of the word two spirited, I Bisexual was the closest thing I could find to describe myself. It was a big hush-hush thing in my family because no one uh, believed in that, that you were supposed to be straight, you marry a man and that's it. To this day, my family accepts me, some do, um, but they still are questioning me about it. I didn't have a clue what gay was. We weren't raised with gay people, we didn't know anything about gay culture, gay lifestyle. I think it was 17 or 18 when he told me he was gay. It was 18 when I came out. I couldn't do it anymore. Uh, I got depressed. My son would go through periods of, of depression. and By that time, you know, all your other friends have girlfriends or boyfriends and, you know, they're getting their own apartments and they're doing their own lives and doing couple things. And, you know, I'm still the single youngest brother and, you know, still the buddy that's got no one that he's bringing to dinner and stuff, so. I couldn't understand what was going on, and he said, I'm gay, and he just blurted it all out like he was thinking he had a disease. You know, it was very sad, and uh, I said, that's okay. I hadn't had the privilege to learn about the two-spiritedness until I was around 23, I think, 22. Um, and the, the second I heard that teaching, I just fell in love with it because it made me have a place in somewhere, a place in life. I just believe that's who I am. My family calls it a choice, but it's who I am. And if they can't accept me for who I am, then I have nothing for them. In today's day and age, I've actually been told that I'm sinning or that it's wrong. And I say, you know, where, where I come from, it's a gift. Because of being uh, light-skinned, um, I wondered if I could claim being two-spirited. It's something that I'm still working on, and being two-spirited is, it's amazing because I can experience two sides all the time. Being two-spirited um, is more accepting in our community um, than being gay in the mainstream, it's just like a, you know, like an object, moreover than not a person. Where in our community, being two-spirited is something, is something to be honored. You know, it's part of the community. You're not an object, you are a person. I would get confused because people would tell me that I had to like one or the other. In this world out here, you're either taught to be the ultra male or the ultra female and nothing in between. And if you're not one of those two, then, then you don't belong. I was always uh, hateful of uh, fags. I was always hateful of queers. I was always hateful of dykes and all those other things out there that, that made them specifically different than, than the rest of us. Until I start recognizing in, in, in the healing of, our, of myself, that part of my uh, dysfunction and part of my own disease in, in my family and my community was due to sexual abuse at the hands of a male. And when I, when I talked about the uh, learned behaviors, what I did learn was hate, fear, violence, violence against. Everyone understood that everyone had a place, that the creator didn't make mistakes. And Somewhere along that line, some of that stuff got subverted. You know, the homophobia and the, and the um, patriarchal um, influence, um, they're very connected. <laughs> they're very, they go hand in hand. I think everybody's just so much more accepting. Uh, I mean, the laws have changed. I work in a, I have a great job. Uh, I don't think people can, can form that ignorance anymore without consequences. If you're two-spirited, gay, lesbian, bisexual, heterosexual, or whatever, don't let anybody stop you from coming out. You're who you are. Um, don't be embarrassed. 
I think if the educational system would not so concentrate so much on sexuality, but uh, uh, a child having the right to be in, in encouraged to be a child, as opposed to males and or females, you know, get rid of the trucks. If you're, if you're not going to get rid of the trucks, let the girls play with them. You know, get rid of the dolls, and if you, you know, if you're not going to get rid of the dolls, then let the boys play with them. You know, I'd be accepting if I was, you know. Uh, in, in need of some guidance from a two-spirited person. I'd be more than accepting to allow them to guide me along. That's how it should be.